happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Blessings and peace. Amen to you all today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is Brother Williams. And uh, I was just doing a little a little live broadcast today. Um, I hope the audio is good. And of course, you're going to hear out uh, other interference because I'm outside. Um at a location so you're going to hear um, other uh, voices and other uh, other noises but this is brother William and I just want to come to you with a uh, reminder and uh, a quick word uh, from the Lord you know you read in the book of Matthews uh, the 20 fourth chapter where Jesus warned his disciples and uh, he said that uh, to take heed that no man deceive you this is what Jesus said to his disciples when they asked him what would be the signs of his coming and of the end of the world Jesus said for first and foremost to take heed that no man deceives you. And so that is letting us know that deception will be um, prevalent in the last days. Uh, new revelations people will have uh, from the, the scriptures uh, that, that are not even, that are not confirmed in the scriptures, but people will come up with new doctrines, new uh ideologies uh, in the religious realm and not only in the re religious realm but also um, in many other areas uh, of life so Jesus warned and he said for us to not to be deceived take heed that no man uh, deceives you as he, he said in his word um, we're seeing that uh, people are being uh, deceived like I say even uh, today many of many many in the body of Christ are being deceived by the world because they have trusted in the things of men more than in the things of God they've trusted in what the secular world is saying rather than what the word of God is saying. And so the Lord told us to be uh, to be wise, to understand what the will of the Lord is, to, to know the word of God so that we can identify what is false, uh, what is counterfeit. Uh, but it seems that uh, many in the church, we go along with any and everything. Uh, we don't examine anything we don't uh, try the spirits but by the word of God, not by our own uh, feelings or our own emotion, but we should try it by the word of God. If it doesn't uh, come up to the standards of the word, then, uh, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is counterfeit. And uh, the Lord does not want us to be deceived. So this is the word of the Lord. He said, take heed that no man deceives you. Take heed that no man deceives you. Deception will become prevalent in the last days. And men are and will fall for almost anything. But ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we are warned in the scripture we are told in the word of god to keep our garments clean uh, we are told to uh, walk after the spirit so that we won't fulfill the lusts of our flesh 
walking after the spirit. See, when you walk after the spirit, the things of the world uh, won't catch your eyes. You won't be deceived by the cleverly de devised fables of the enemy if you are walking after the spirit. Uh, but again, as I say, oftentimes many are walking after their flesh. They are walking uh, according to their emotions, their own belief system, their own uh, uh, prejudices, their own outlook of how they think this life should be uh, and how things should be. But we have to remember the Bible tells us that we are not, uh, this world is not our home. We are pilgrims. We are just passing through. So Jesus said, take heed that no man deceives you. Deception will be prevalent in the last days. Uh, and this one thing I want to say too, uh, many are being deceived with this uh, Hebrew Israelite doctrine. Uh, many are falling for this. Uh, believing that the blacks here are the real Jews and the Jews that are in Israel are not uh, the real Jews. And so many are falling for that. Uh, many are, in, you know, in, in, in deception, believing that because things are happening in the black race, uh, that uh, the black race is on the move. And we're about ready to enter into our promised land. But we don't understand, amen, that if we don't, if, if, if Jesus Christ is not the focus, if we're preaching anti-Semitism, if we are preaching hatred against, you know, the white man, we could come together all we want to as a people. But if we are not coming together under the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ, then this is just another movement. This is just another cleverly devised fable that uh, Satan has concocted and many are falling prey to it. So once again, deception will be prevalent in the last days. As we get closer to the time of Christ, deception will be prevalent. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us that in the book of Revelation, uh, John said, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs uh, working miracles. You know, even the, uh, the false prophet, I believe, he will call down fire from heaven in the sight of many. And because of that, people will be deceived by that action. You know, we will leave the word of God to get our foundation, to get our understanding, and we would just be deceived by what we see. So, gird yourselves, brothers and sisters. Hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Men, walk wise, walk circumspectly, understanding the times in which we are living, and keep your garments clean. Amen. So, this is Brother Williams. I uh, just wanted to bring this message, just a sh short message, just a word of exhortation to be watching, to stay uh, on the foundation of Christ, uh, of Christ. As Jesus said, take heed that no man uh, takes your crown. This is Brother Williams. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time. And until next time. Be blessed.